Hi guys, I'm Sayed from Cloud Revolve. In today's video, we are going to show you how to install WordPress using WordPress CLI. If you have any concern or you need any assistance during this video, if you face any issue uh, in any step, you can contact us on support at cloudrevolve.com. The prerequisite of this video is uh, your LAMP stack should be enabled on your server. In this video, we are going to going to use Ubuntu 22.04 LTS server. You can use uh, whichever OS operating system uh, you like or you're familiar with. The steps will be the same, but the directory structure could be different. So uh, let's start. Uh, I have already launched my EC2 instance and I have already installed uh, my LAMP. Uh, you can see this is the default page running on the system. And if you go to uh, the server, Okay, it's connected. Let us reconnect. Here we go. Clear the screen and let me show you. Here, yeah. all our required packages are over here. So, the default directory of uh, LAMP on Ubuntu is this. And, uh, if we Move this index to before directory okay we should be needing uh, a super user privilege to move this here it is now let us browse again and see if it's it is loading no it is not loading anything now what we need to do is uh, is now to set up our AWS. Oh, sorry, not AWS CLI. We are going to install our WordPress CLI. For that, we need to download a CLI from Cloud from WordPress. This is the. Uh, CLI path you can download it it is downloaded now latest let us make it executable okay it has not been downloaded I need to use sudo at it is required more permission let us use sudo ch mode plus x to make it executable Okay, now let's move it to the binary. The type sudo move wpcli dash usr local bin has been moved. Okay, let's refresh the prompt. Let's check wpcli does not found. Okay. Right, let's check. Oh. oh, there is a difference. Let us rename it. WP okay. now let us check here it is it is installed now let's us see what we can do it is installed a uh, 2.10 So guys, uh, 
WP CLI is installed. Now let us install our WordPress. Okay. The first thing you need to install is you need to download the WordPress WP or download. We need to uh, use sudo. We don't have permission over here. Now we need to allow. It will not allow to use root permission. So you need to add this flag. Whenever you're using as privileges, it is downloading the latest WordPress. Just download it. Let me show you. Okay, you can see now the WordPress has been downloaded, and let us configure it. Okay, you are gonna use again sudo wp core config. We're going to use minus minus eb host equals to localhost minus minus db name oh we did not create the db so first of all let us create our database create database wordpress all right let us w4 on big post equals to uh it can be your local host or it can be a remote so uh, in this server i uh, have locally installed my sql now let us provide a db Minus minus db name equals to press now minus minus db user in this uh, video I'm going to use root but it is not a, a right practice to use root but for the demo purpose we can use it Command will be WP core config minus minus db host minus minus db name uh, type minus minus db user minus minus db pass. So these are some flags we we need to use to set up uh, the server. Let us hit the command. So it's generated wp config file uh, let me show you a, what it has has been added see uh, from the cli it's uh, it created our database it added our db user and db password now now the the most important step is to install WordPress. Like uh, uh, we have all the material we need, we required all the dependencies, all the core code, and the WP config is also installed. So you can head to the browser and install it as well. But uh, as the video is specifically using the WP CLI, so let's focus on that okay uh, 
let us install it now wp for all minus url equals to codes http dash just copy our ip we don't have a domain name so let's configure it one now the next switch we're going to use is title quotes wheel i wordpress small Let us set up admin. Let us see uh, WP admin. Now the next switch will be WP admin password. For the demo purpose, let's make keep it simple. Then we need to use admin email. For this, let us use our support email address. Okay. And last, we need to allow root. Just add sudo in front of your command all right let's try it may break but let us try let us check our command first uh sudo wp4 install url title of the website wp admin name wp admin password and WP e admin email and we have also allowed it to run as root there we go it will take a few minutes to install okay uh, WordPress is installed successfully the error is simply that we do not have any email package installed on the server like sandmail or postgres uh, let's try and test it okay there we go let us see if it is installed or not okay as far as we see we are missing one of the important components we check that mysql php is extension is installed okay let us check okay need to use again a sudo command p uh, actually i did not start it my uh, apache after configuring the php packages and uh, my sql packages so let me uh, show you oh just need to add my design. as you can see these are the dependencies it's the minimum requirement to install on your server I will share these tabs in the youtube description so you can follow step by step in in uh, so you will not going to face any issue
Now currently, uh, you can also install plugins or theme or anything to uh, from the CLI. Like for example, let us check our WP admin first before moving forward. What was the password we have sent? Check a history command to see uh, its WP admin. Password was cloud revolt. Okay, voila! Boom! It is now installed, so it is very easy and conveniently you can make it automated using the WP CLI. You can use it as a pipeline also to configure on multiple uh, environment of WordPress using the WP CLI and setting up it dynamically. And let us check which theme uh, we have enabled. It's 2024 is enabled. And uh, So you can also use uh, CLI to set up multiple users or many other things. You can just type over here minus minus help. These are all the rele relevant command and switches you can use. Uh, it's up to your uh, expertise. You need to rewrite uh, some of the global parameters which are mandatory and switches are very good so you can use wpcli and share your feedback in what's your experience was and if it if it is easy or difficult for you please share your feedback with us and and then i will see you in our next video and we are going to cover a java spring boot ci cd uh, we have been working for it and it will be released shortly so give us your feedback and if you need any type of content which you want us to create for you please share your feedback and goodbye take care of yourself see you in another video bye bye